Hi my lovely friends, it is me, your silly friend Michelle El Myers, here watching the sunset again. I wish you could see it, but because of the lighting, it's going to just white balance out, kind of nutty. But it's really nice. It's pretty. But look, I, I don't know if you can see those clouds up there, they look like uh, feathers. Feathery clouds today, a little bit. Anyway, so, my encouraging word for today. Today is the 14th, it's Thursday. Is it the 14th of November? Okay, so, um, I try to always do these about maybe something that I'm going through myself or something that somebody asked me about. I sometimes get people who write me little mail, you know, and things. These cacti are interesting around here. But today, I want to talk about friendship because I'm kind of weird about friendship. My entire life, mostly growing up, I didn't really see the necessity in having like really close friends because I tried to fit in with people and I really didn't fit in. And that probably speaks to the fact that I'm slightly got a little bit of an autistic brain. And so it took me a while to really understand why a person needed friends in the first place because I really like didn't see the logical reason for doing so. <laughs> so <clears throat> I, I sometimes wanted to fit in simply because that was what everybody told me that I needed to do but I was actually really quite content being by myself and um, books and reading and movies and literature and you know other stuff but um, once I found my friend David Terry I suppose was really the first person that I he spoke into my life um, and made me like myself better so my first friend that I truly remember just seeing me kind of for who I was a little bit there um that was his name and he died when we were both 26 years old he was killed and that was absolutely horrible it was 1999 January 6 1999 he was shot and killed by some people and the deficit of that friend even though I had husband I had family but a friend was missing and so that had an impact on me I suppose after that, it seemed like I had friends, but half the time it was just people who wanted something from me and I couldn't tell the difference between people using you, the sand is sinking here, or friendship. I'm still learning, I suppose, what true friendship is, but um, I'm, I kind of have a friend that helped me discover what truly is being a friend. And I think that we're taught certain things about friendship, like rules when we're little, like, you know, be kind to each other, you know, help one another, support one another, but somehow that kind of gets lost in the day to day. So I had to rediscover every different segment of my life. I had to kind of rediscover what friendship was. And then I had to also learn about when you have a good one, you need to celebrate that and to, you know, be appreciative of that because not everybody has good friends. So I have a friend that taught me what I'm learning most is somebody who is truly your friend makes you a better you. Not makes in a fastful way, but they celebrate who you are, they accept you for who you are, but they also remind you of that when you can't remember who you are, but they also cause you to want to do more and be more and be better. And they speak into your life in such a manner that they make your world more efficient. They make your world more beautiful. They make what you are in the world more beautiful. Therefore, they are friend. And they don't require something of you that is hard for you to give, honestly, when they're your friend. A lot of times it requires honesty, authenticity, and love. So if you have a good friend today, I'm looking back at my life and in these 47 years, I guess, or whatever, and I'm thinking about what a true friend is and what that's supposed to look like. And so I'd have to say for everybody out there that is actually really my friend, thank you. And I'd also have to tell everyone out there, don't take your friends for granted because when they're gone and missing out of your life, sometimes people leave because of inattention or they don't feel that they're needed in your life. So if you have a good friend, I've, something I've learned over the 47 years is when you do finally have that good friend, that person that speaks into your life and is there for you and puts your needs before their own in certain situations, when you have that type of person in your life, make sure you thank them. Thank them, be thankful for them, and friendship isn't one-sided. Because honestly, you're friends with somebody because you get something from it. 
other people don't like to say that but it is true even if it's just that you get a listening ear or you get someone that's kind and nice or you know they they watch movies with you they spend time with you something like that but you still always get something but you have to always make sure that people that you're connected to that there's a give and a take about it what do they add to your life it's not always about what you can do for them and, and, and a burden or draining the energy out of you. There's really awesome things about friendships I'm learning. I haven't had lots of friends in my entire life, not real friends, you know? So I'm learning that at 46 years old. So I love, love, love you all. I hope you have a really great evening. I'm up here still with the feathery clouds. It looks beautiful. I love coming up here for several different reasons, but obviously and mainly... It's just lovely to hold these mountains and just think about where my little place is here on the planet. So I love, love, love you all. Tell your friends you love them today. If you haven't yet, tag a few of them underneath here and say I love you so very much and thank you for being my friend. Love, 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 Michelle. Bye. Bye. Hi, Ricky. That's my friend. Hi, Ricky. <laughs> See my view? You'll have to watch back. I'm in the mountains. I love it. I love, love, love you all. I'm getting attacked by a bug. <laughs> I'll talk to you all really soon. Bye.